Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Today I want to go through how you can compare budgets which are at a, at a monthly level versus sales or some transaction data which is at a daily level. Now this is really the tough thing about budgeting analysis. It's all about comparing data at different granularities. Now what we're actually looking at here, this is a, a detailed solution which I'll be going through in depth during the next Enterprise DNA Learning Summit which is in May 2018. I'll leave a link below in the description for those who want to register for the event and be able to come live uh, and download the resources etc. Um, so certainly if you want to really dive into more things around budgeting or all things around budgeting and many other uh, various aspects of really high quality Power BI development then certainly register um, and come along to the event it's going to be a really really good one but what I wanted to do today and, that, and this is part of what we will be solving during the learning summit is how we can solve or how we can allocate some budgets which are at a month and year level so they're monthly budgets and compare them to our sales, which is, is just every single transaction. So it's just uh, iterating through every single day, every, every day we're making sales, etc. So we need to somehow, and this is the tough part, allocate the budget for a particular month that could be also broken out by various different other attributes as well. So in this case, it's broken out by city, it's broken out by product name, customer name. So it's a very detailed bottom-up build of a budget, right? So it's not a simple generic, this month is X, this next month is X. It's actually, we've got a lot of attributes here and they're all got a certain budget allocation to them. And then we need to then compare those to a daily, to a daily level. Okay, so it's not super, super easy, but it is, it is definitely possible in Power BI. All you need to do is understand how, how it all sort of fits together and the formulas that you need to use um, or implement to achieve it. Okay, and so I, I won't be able to cover nearly every single formula here um, because I want to keep these tutorials shorter. That's what the uh, Learning Summit event is for, is we're going to do it from scratch. Basically, we're going to show you how to build the model, how to create the formula, how to allocate it, how to, how to visualize it. That's what, the, uh, that's what the Learning Summit is all going to be about. But definitely want to show you how to allocate here, and that's the key thing. The key learning here is how to allocate monthly over daily. Now, if I come over to my example page I've set up here, so let's have a look at this table first of all. We need to, and I'll just switch these around, um, we need to create a calculation uh, that sums up the budget in any particular month, but then allocates it for every single day, okay? And what's really, really difficult here is that this month and year uh, does not match up it does not match up to our date table. Okay, so if I just go and have a look at my date table here, you'll see that this this uh, table is every single day, right? But then this table down here, the sales budget, is at every single month and year. So there is actually no direct relationship. So even though I can click here and drag down here and create a relationship, we don't really actually want to do that. We don't want to do that because it's not a true relationship. The date is not matching up to the month and year here. We want to somehow, so we want to somehow um, create this relationship virtually, okay? This is a really, really cool part about this formula, treat as. So there's a function in Power BI called treat as, and what we can do is we can create virtual relationships in our um, calculations that don't have a true relationship in the model because you want to be sticking to true relationships here. Now there are some true relationships, before I jump into what, how we do tr use treat as, there are some true relationships here because we have a regions table, we have a product table, and we have a customers table. And so we had those in our budgets, right? So these relationships that I'm clicking on here, these are true. So these are true relationships. We want to keep these. We want to we want to utilize the, the power of the filters that we can apply in our model inside of Power BI. We want to utilize those here. But we do need to somehow at least allocate by month and year somehow virtually, okay? So I'm just going to jump to my measure and you'll see, you'll see what I've done here. So let's have a look at this one. So total budgets, that's what this calculation is doing um, right here. It's also what's showcasing in this um, particular chart. So what we're doing is we are summing up the sales budgets, right? Which is just the numeric column in the budgets. We're summing it up. But we need to make sure that we are creating a filter inside of Calculate. And that's what this treat as function does. It is creating a filter based on the month and year column 
inside of our date table and the month and the year column inside of our sales table. Now we can't go and create those relationships. We just can't do it inside the model because it would it would be a um, you know there's a many there's a many to many type relationship there. Um, but it, uh, and also because there's repeated values, but which is just it's just certainly not what we need to do. So if I even try and do it, I'll grab month and year and I'll drag across here. Um, it's more than likely we will get an error. Can't create a relationship because these two columns, are ha uh, these two columns because of one one of the columns must have unique values, right? Okay. So definitely no relationship to be made there. This is how we create it. This is how we create it with treat as. Okay. We virtually create the connection between the month and year and the date table and the month and year in the budget table and then what it does is it then allocates it so if we have a look at this total budget you'll see that as we jump to a new month it does actually recognize that and then it is calculating the budgets based on that month as well okay so that's the first uh, thing that we need to do first to calculate total budgets but then we need to allocate we need to create an allocation algorithm which allocates that particular budget because this is, this is still actually calculating up every single the, the total month on every single day so that's totally wrong right we need to make sure we allocate this across every single day but because we've calculated this initially it actually makes it quite easy for us to then go and uh, then go and calculate the daily allocation, right? Because just think about logically what you need to do. You just need to go this number divided by the amount of days in the month. I mean, that's basically it, right? That's basically all we have to do. We, or, or it could be you, you might need to change it to, say, working days of the month or something like that. But in this case, we're just going to go days of the month. And this is this is the calculation to do that, okay? So the way to think about it is allocation, allocation algorithm. That's what we need to create. This is basically creating it for us. It's saying... We've got the total budgets for the month and we need to divide it by the days in the month. And so all I'm doing at every single day down here, and I'll just drag this into the table, at every single day, uh, count up, so uh, count up how many days in a particular month. I first of all remove any context on days, but then I bring it back with the values and this month and year, which matches up to the budgeting month and year that we have, right? And you'll see if we look down this particular column that we then have the days in every single month and it changes say march 31 uh, and then if i say change the context here to say quarter two as well you'll see that it changes even more and more as we go along okay then basically it's pretty straightforward from there from here don't have to do it's not not difficult at all really from here all we need to do this is just um re this is actually just generating those exact same um numbers basically uh, and then we are um, dividing. So this is the key part of the formula. This is the key, very key part of the formula. We've got daily budget. Um, we don't even actually. We don't. This could. This could actually just be total budgets. Now that we've got that, I just changed the formula around just earlier before, and you'll see now we uh, just need to divide total budgets by um, month and days, and, and that's it. And that's it. And then that's how we get this budget allocation here. And we don't even need these intermediary calculations. We don't need this one. And then we can throw it into a chart where we have our budget allocation and we show it sort of versus sales. So you see here that we've got our budget allocation in behind and then we're showing sales every single day. And we could actually change it up to something like so. I think this looks actually quite good. We 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 arrange it like that. Actually, then we'd have to change the then we have to change the um, the axes, but I won't, I won't go too 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 much further into this. The key was to show you the allocation, right? I wanted to show you the allocation algorithm, and I think I think hopefully you know I I I, uh, I was able to show you that it's it's really not too difficult. It's about just incorporating some simple things in your model, you know, making sure your model is set up correctly. You've always got to build the base well, and then coming in. Uh, and implementing the correct formulas. There's a little bit there. You now, treat as is a little bit to treat as. There's actually a video on Enterprise DNA TV which dives into this particular function in depth. So certainly check that one out. Um, but then once you implement this one, then it's just a matter of finding that all um, allocation algorithm, just finding the correct correct correct, uh, correct date um, division number. So days division number in this case. And then dividing it, um, uh, dividing that number by the by, by the correct allocation, and then you got it, and then you've got it, and then you and then you dynamically. I'll just jump back into the um, demo model here. 
dynamically you can um, you know you can all incorporate many different um, patterns on top of that so you see here that we've got I've got cumulative totals you know I'm showing the difference between um, sales budgets and cumulative budgets there and then we're diving into the difference between those trying to identify the trends you can also create a, the segmentation pattern which is also um, something I've dived into uh, on Enterprise Gen ATV and also will be covered in depth uh, during the learning summit so plenty 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 of great stuff you can do from it. I mean it's just unbelievable how great um, you can make your analysis of especially around budgets if you can understand and utilize these techniques. Okay I'm going to round off there hopefully you enjoy this one plenty to learn if you do want to come to the learning summit I'll leave a link in the description below um, there's going to be so much covered on Power BI it's going to be crazy really want you uh, to come along if you're interested in Power BI and really good development inside of Power BI. Um, so certainly register for that. If you liked the video, uh, got a lot out of the content, solved your problem, um, you know, definitely throw the video a like. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty, um, plenty more content coming out soon. Okay, all the best. Talk to you soon.